Bruce Lee, pretty badass movie star, martial arts master, pretty friggin' cool. This is a play on words. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, me, Brewski, for the Ruski Brewski review. And today, the beer I have for you is by the Rouge River Brewing Company. This is their Brute Lee Brute IPA. Coming in at 6.1% alcohol by volume and an unknown IBUs not on the bottle, but on the website, it is coming in at 40 IBUs. Look at that. Bruce Lee kicking a pint of delicious, delicious beer. Actually, I think this is one of the coolest logos um, from Rouge River so far. It's really colorful. It's, it's, it's quite well done. I'm having a great laugh at it. Very colorful. I like it a lot. I like to see uh, Rouge River doing more of this sort of stuff. Very colorful logos. Something interesting indeed. So let's crack it open. Let's see what we got. Branded bottle cap. Swish. Pouring into my Rouge River fat tulip style glass. Nice bit of a pour. There we go, perfect. Just about half. Looking at the beer, it's pretty pale. A yellow touch of orange in there, I want to say. A little bit of a white head and quite hazy indeed. You can't see through it at all. It's a really, really cool looking beer. Smells. That's how it smells. Dank resiny pine. Tropical notes, mangoes, pineapples, big citrus. Smells pretty damn tasty. Let's have a sip. Mm. It's resiny, it's piney, quite bitter, um, very bitter in the finish. Um, but only 40 IBU, so it's it's tame. It tastes bitter, but it's you don't get that bitter bite uh, per se. Quite 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 good. Cheers, everyone. Uh, definitely resiny, sort of soury note, sour bittery note right in the finish. Definitely more piney, um, very citrusy. Uh, definitely more that 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 soury, bittery note at the end is more of like a citrus rind. I want to say, in my opinion, um, but it is it is a solid solid beer. Definitely not like sweet, not like a sweeter IPA. Definitely more uh, 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 florally, florally and citrusy. Even a touch, I would say, savory almost, like that uh, that umami flavor. Um, definitely a good balance between all of those characteristics. I, I enjoy it. It's crisp. It's uh, it's not too heavy, which is nice as well. Looking on the bottle here, Rouge River Brewing Company Brute Lee Brute IPA. Like I said, uh, 600, uh, sorry, 600, 6.1% 6 uh, alcohol by volume, 40 IBUs. This is showing it's, it's being at 473 mils, but usually they're, they're, their bottles are 500 mils. Maybe it just wasn't filled to the top. That's weird. Interesting, or unless it was supposed to go on a, on a can, and now it's in a bottle. Pretty neat. Brewed on date or bottled on date, August 22nd, 2018. This is showing 500 ml, so I'm very confused. I think this was supposed to go on a can, this label, but they put it in 500 ml bottles. Because uh, it's showing two bits of uh, volume information on the uh, on the bottle and on, on the labels. So, a little confusion there, but still, it's, it's a bottle. It's 500 ml. I'm kind of happy they did go the bottle route and not the can route, just because bottles, bottles are better, in my opinion. Uh, moving over to the website now, RougeRiverBrewingCompany.com. You come down 
to the Brute Lee IPA, and there is a description amongst other things. So let's read the description now. This beer is our first take on a new style that is sweeping the nation, the Brute IPA. Inspired by Brute Champagne, this IPA is designed to be as dry as possible through the use of rice and corn sugar to thin out the body and keep the color pale as well. We use a blend of Amarillo, Vic Secret, and Econaut for notes of peach and mango with a touch of cedary pine. See, I'm not really getting the peach or the mango. I'm definitely getting the pine, though. That just mean that must just be my palate. Everybody, like we always say, gets something a bit different. The malts that are used are Canadian Two Row and Toasted Rice Flakes. The hops are Nugget Amarillo, AU Vic Secret, and Aconaut. And the yeast that is used is an American Ale type yeast. And others are Dextrose. Now I don't remember what Dextrose is. But clearly, it's some other type of ingredient. This is it's a pretty good beer. I don't mind it. I mean, I've had much better from Rouge River, personally. This is it's still tasty. Um, I just don't think Brute IPAs are, are really my style. It being so dry and, and the flavors just not being as sweet. Um, I'm definitely more of like a sweeter tropical IPA kind of guy. Well, this doesn't do it for me a hundred percent i still have to say it is a very very well done beer for the style i haven't had too many brute ipas i think i've had maybe just a handful i haven't had one in a long long time but this is this is pretty good for for a brute ipa pretty darn good just just not my flavor you know mm. body's good Moderate body, going down really smooth. Um, definitely not having any uh, hiccups in anything. A few burps, but that's that's fine. That's just carbonation. Mouth feels great. Definitely dry. Hit that right on the head. Flavors are pretty damn good too. Finally, moving over to Untap now. Brute Lee has been given a 4.05 bottle caps out of five, and that's out of 53 rating. So seems to be uh, quite quite good yeah and the amongst uh amongst the eyes of those 53 people and to me it's pretty damn good i enjoy it quite a bit um it's just not my style of beer but it's always nice to try something a bit different with that said guys cheers in the final sip and let's get right to ratings hmm Brute Lee Brute IPA. It's good. It's got very, very nice, nice use of hops in there. Uh, a little bit of earthy, a little bit of florally, definitely more pine. I'm not getting that peach and mango like they said, um, but for what I am getting, uh, quite well done. Definitely not my style of IPA, but I do appreciate the uh, the work and the effort and the flavors in this one. I think it lands itself a solid 8.5 out of 10 for me. As for presentation, you know, Rouge River, you do a good job with your clearly labeled bottle on dates, alcohol, um, and this logo. This logo on the front, phenomenal. I love it. Really, really cool. Um, no complaints about that. One thing, I'd love to see the description from the website on the bottle here because you still have real estate. Use it when you got it. Website, though, looks great. You know, description, uh, all the malts, hops, and yeasts are listed, which is absolutely perfect. Uh, overall presentation gets a solid, you know, gets also a solid 8.5 out of 10 because one, I love the logo, and two, your website's phenomenal uh, all around. Now, with all that said, guys, before I leave you, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, you can leave all the information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Maple Ruski, that'd be greatly appreciated as well. With all that said, that's going to do it for me, Maple Ruski, and like I always say, crack your brain and enjoy. Cheers.